So I spent the better part of today designing, measuring, and fitting my water manifolds. This is for the fresh water system in the van. Cold water, hot water. The cold water manifold, in my case, typically has four zones. So you have your main feed that comes in, then we've got one zone that goes to the water heater to make hot water, and then it sends it to the hot zones. Then you got another one that goes to the sink, you got another one that goes to the shower, and you have one that goes to the mixing valve for your outdoor washdown. The mixing valve for the outdoor washdown needs hot and cold water. Hot comes in one side, cold comes in the other. You adjust the mix to your desired temperature, comes out the bottom and goes to your outside spigot. You set it and you forget it. So all of this that you see, this is called Oopener. It's a PEX type of a product, but it's not the same as all PEX. This is not the kind of PEX you use with crimps. And you can't use that type of PEX with these stretch fittings. I'll show you what I mean here. Uh, in the case of half inch tubing, the minimum, you have to have a nice square cut in order to do this. So once I, once I make my cuts, I put a collar on it and check it for squareness. The minimum length is two inches for a half inch pipe. If you have a three inch, a three quarter pipe, it's three inches minimum. Okay, you with me? So I put my collar on my tube and I put it in my gun and I give it six squirts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then you slip in your fitting and that's it. That's done, watertight. Okay. All because of this gun, the, the uh, Milwaukee opener tool. It's expensive, but in my opinion, it's worth it. Now let me go get another collar because I'm not completely prepared here. So now uh, every connection point needs a collar, okay? A little white collar. What I'm doing here now is I'm putting this on the bottom of this first zone because I know that this one's going to the cold water in the galley. My whole manifold is gonna be under the galley in the rearmost cabinet against the back wall. I mounted a uh, backer board there. So this is in the, on the side of the van. That's heading forward to the sink. So again, I've got my elbow ready. I stretch this out. I have to count myself every time I do this. That's it, done. Not bad. So far in five vans, I've had one failure, one weeping collar, ever so slight weep, and I was able to repair it with a hose clamp. I put a hose clamp around the collar, tightened it down, took the leak away. Now I'm inclined to leave it. That van's coming back for more work. I might leave that collar on there because at this point it works fine. So it's now not broke. My shutoff valves, typically in the past, I've been able to use these little guys from Oopener. And what was nice about these is they were compact, very compact. You could line them up side by side, real nice and close. They stopped making them. I suspect they stopped making them because this at some point gets very hard to open and close. So what they offer now is this. Okay, they've always had these. Uh, this gets a bit cumbersome. So what I had to do is cut them. So I cut them down, pulled the sleeves off, cut them down to the point I needed them. Aren't they cute? See? And now they all work. And another little trick that I figured out is if you can see the offset of these handles, right? They come up like this and like that. You can bend them. So, you know, bend them out of the way, bend them down, do what you have to do to get them to swing here. This is a better example. See that one swings right behind the other one because I bent this one forward and I bent this one back. So you make the room for them. From the front, it looks fine. 
So that's opener. Uh, you don't need anything but the collar and the tubing to make an opener, opener connection. Collar and tubing. Now, these are brass opener fittings. Brass uh, uh, male MPT on the other end. So when we thread those in, I use a, a combination of things. If it's high heat, like the hot water leg that's coming into this mixer, I use a, a high temperature thread sealant, okay? And that's all I use. And that takes 72 hours to set. If it's a, a warm or cold, excuse me, cold fitting, I use some thread tape, and then I use a different type of thread locker. You have to make sure everything you're using is food safe if you're working on the fresh water system. What else can I tell you? Uh, I think that's it.